Yo guys, and we're back again. So, without further delay, let's get this episode started. Anyways, let's see, where's the way? Oh, right there. You don't have to be pixel perfect. No, you don't have to be pixel perfect, but... A little better. Oh, I was about to say, it's like, how am I supposed to get past that? Mouse close by. Oh no, I hate the gravities. If I remember those guys don't get hurt by anything other than swords and really motherfucker. I'm glad the big axe counts as a sword. Eh. What? Okay. Thanks for the dead end there, game. It was a worthwhile dead end, I tell you. Why do you gravities have to be out here? Seriously. Yep. Ow! I hate those things! There we go. But of course it's only one, so... should have a few more, um, magic crystal run. What was that? Oh, okay. Those things. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, screw you. This won't count. Yep, I knew it. Oh, motherfucker. Why? Where are my swords? There's one. Now well, we gotta get rid of as much shit as possible. I'm on attack already or something. Oh my god. I hate this shit! Say, if I don't get a sword here soon. If I don't get another sword here in this one. Okay. Can I run? Please. Thank you. This is the only thing I hate about this place. Is it's like, you need swords to actually get through because you can't kill those things without them. It's just like, why? Station Comp 4. I've actually got the map open for this place too, so we don't have to waste time searching through it. This one's obnoxious, too, so I'm glad I did it. Meaning just grab the map. I was about to say, it's like, do not tell me I'm... Actually, let's see. There is something here. Black hole one. 
Done up. But anyways. <clears throat> We're gonna fight you. Again. Because why not? Well, you're the last one, Snake Woman! Aw, he was actually close to what I was calling her. <laughs> I should have called her Snake Woman. Snake Woman is such an unrefined name. I, Ofusha, guardian of the FM King, will not allow a single vermin like you to get through this final door. Geo! The FM King is just beyond this door. We have to get past her. Don't let her stop us here. Got it. Wave battle right on. You don't have the antidote to my poison. Sorry, queen. Of course I don't. Got nothing to do. Really? Where am I going? What did I just do? doing I am wow this is a uh... this is pretty bad ooh hello sorry baby but that's not going to work I'm having a terrible run on you right now but hey that's a uh... that's for a different time in general right now, but hey. What are you gonna do, right? Ah, wow, 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 wow. Yeah! Whew. Woo! Man, that was, that was the easiest fight ever. Boy, I, I'm doing... I'm doing really bad on the second run. First time fighting them? Ah, do did really well for the most part. Well, not really well, but fairly well. Now this time... Your Majesty, forgive me! You accursed Omega Axis! And drama. See, now she's upholding the Battle Network spirit. Ow. Dialogue, then the scream. All that's left is the FM King. And Andromeda. We've got to hurry. The last lock is open. This is it. The final battle. Right. Now, how's the fight with Andromeda gonna go down? Probably badly! <clears throat> the FM King is just beyond here. Once you change into waveform here, there's no turning back. No turning back? The area ahead is a warped world. The FM King's Z-Waves are so strong, they've turned reality into waveform. Basically, 
It's half real world and half wave. You can't escape into the real world if you get into a tight spot. Once you enter, the only way you can return to the real world is... To beat the FM King, right? Right. If you don't, you'll never be able to return to the real world ever again. You came all the way here, but... If you want to turn back, now's the time. Thanks, Mega. But I'm going forward. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. If you made up your mind, I won't say any more. Whenever you're ready, let's go! Yeah! So what are we gonna do? We're gonna save right here. God, I have no cards. If you are ready for what lies ahead, continue on, and you shall find that which you seek. May your brethren be with you in spirit as you face it alone. I was about to say, can I actually get to him without getting into a random encounter? Oh my god. Fuck you! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Screw you, we'll just get rid of you two as easily as possible. And depending on what sword chip we get in the next... Come on, I... Oh, you attack no matter what! That is adorable! That is cheap! Fuck you! I thought it was I had to be in the same row, but nope, not the same row. Didn't need that, but hey. Might as well be safe! This is an interesting fight, if I remember. <clears throat> wow, the waves are really strong here. That means the FM King is nearby. Omega Exus, while you are in that lowly body, you are of no threat to me. I grant you special permission to ascend those stairs and come before me. Now come. <laughs> Even if you hadn't invited me, I would have gone up there anyway. Come on, Joe. Let's go! Yeah. Well done, Mega Man. Omega Exus. So the enemy who appears before me is one of my own warriors. Who would have thought it? So this is what... So this is what is meant by biting the hand that feeds you. No Aemian warrior was able to reach me. However, one of my own was. I do commend you. Your Majesty! Stop your attack on Earth! Quiet! I will destroy all planets that wish harm upon my own. Harm? I think you misunderstood. My dad came all the way out here just to form a brother band with Planet FM. Be quiet, you. Brother band, indeed. Your real purpose was invasion. You won't trick me. <laughs> Hopeless. This isn't the first time the King's paranoia got the better of him. Geo, there's only one way to stop him. You have one way to stop me? What are you talking about? You have no way of stopping me. We won't know unless we try. Hey, Kingy! You were saying earlier that no Amian had made it to you before, so... Well, I guess that makes me the first. You're... an Amian survivor? What? You're a survivor of Planet AM? Geo, remember how you said I've never lost anyone before? Well, I didn't say it then, but everything that was precious to me was stolen by that guy. That's why I can say that. I understand how much you f- How you feel. Mega. If I don't do anything, 
then Earth's gonna end up just like my home planet, Planet AM. That's why we have to stop him now. Yeah. <laughs> what can one AMian and an Earthling boy possibly do? If you think you can stop me, then by all means go ahead and try. Awaken from your slumber, Andromeda! Th that's Andromeda? At its core, it's a ball of loneliness. It has an EM body, but all it does is... I, don't, I missed what I was reading. My bad. Lonely and sad lead other EM beings. Andromeda, have some or something before I serve up the main course. Earth, I will crush all those who oppose me. Mega, this is it, the last battle. Let's show that untrusting brat of a king the power of our bond. Last battle right on. You'll regret standing against me. Andromeda, go. Off to a decent start, actually. I was about to say, you better let me get over there. What are you, baby? Crap! Yeah, I don't care about if I didn't care about that point. Why? Because it's gonna get... Well, I was just trying to see if I can counter it. Oh, I'm getting all of the shittiest shit from these guys. Oh no, he's going into a second form already! Frick! I mean, that's good, but at the same time, it's like, ah, oh, damn. Now here's where you need to watch out, because pretty much when this starts, attacks will start flying already. survive? Probably not. God damn! If I had some health, this would... Uh, I really... Oh, motherfucker! Ouch, well, I'm screwed. If I can get that off, I'm safe. <laughs> I don't even... I don't even care how it... Don't care, I won! I take it, I'll take it. As bad as it was, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't care. My folder was not optimized for this at all. Completely forgot how Andromeda was. I don't give two craps. I took one really bad first run, another really bad second run, but at least the second run made it through to the end.
Andromeda. Impossible! I refuse to accept that there is a power that can defeat Andromeda! Andromeda! Arise and crush them! Geo! It's coming in for another round! Can you still fight? <laughs> Looks like you've used up all of your strength. Finish them now, Andromeda! Geo! Pull yourself together! I can't. My body doesn't have any strength left. Uh, even though you're yeah, even though you're in waveform, you're still a human. You're not designed to take this much radiation. Is there no way for you to withstand the FM King's EM waves? Curses! Concede, Mega Man. Stop! Andromeda! Ah, uh, help! Andromeda's going nuts! We'd better do something or else! My body, it won't move! I'm sorry, everyone. You're not alone, Geo. So stand strong! Hang in there, Geo. <clears throat> I won't forgive you if you lose, Geo. I'm cheering with... Uh, I'm cheering for you with some beef power. We're counting on you, Geo! You can do it, Geo. So stand up. Everyone is behind you, Geo. Believe in the power of your friendships. Dad, everyone. I can... I can feel your strength. Mm. What, what is this power? Everyone, lend me your strength. This is it. Ha! Excuse me. Why are you not finishing me off? You came here to exact your revenge, correct? <clears throat> yeah, it's the only thing I thought about that could take away my pain. But I've given that up. <laughs> Being with Geo for so long has given me a new optimistic look on life. Besides, you don't have your underlings or Andromeda anymore, so you're pretty much powerless now. It is as you say, I have lost. But allow me to ask one thing. Where did you get the power to destroy Andromeda from? <laughs> Listen real good and remember. This is the power of relationships. With the Earthling, what... WHICH THE EARTHLINGS HOLD SO DEAR! The power of relationships. That's right! It's the power we give to one another when we really trust that person! The ability for both people to become stronger. That is the true power of our relationships. The more people you have who you can trust, the bigger that power becomes. I can't trust anyone. Ever since I was born, People have tried to delete me to steal my throne. My siblings, relatives, close associates... <clears throat> they devised all sorts of plans to erase me. Actually, I had a few close calls in my life. I would think I had faithful followers, but they would turn out to be the same as everyone else. If I can't trust the, loyal, the ones most loyal to me, how can I trust complete strangers? The only thing I trusted about strangers was that they were out to betray me. I thought that I shouldn't bother trusting others to begin with if they were going to betray me in the end. Not trusting others. 
It's made my whole life nothing but loneliness. <clears throat> I shouldn't bother trusting others to begin with if they'll just betray me in the end. I thought the exact same thing. To me, someone approaching with even a smile on their face was suspicious. Actually, Planet FM attacked Planet AM the year right after we proposed to become good friends. That was when Gemini appeared. He looked upon Planet AM with distrust and reported that Planet AM was planet planning to attack us. Gemini, huh? The creep. <laughs> it was easy for him to manipulate a king who was already paranoid. And my dad contacted Planet a FM, hoping to create a friendly bond too. Yes. But enough of this. Come, finish me. I can't. Why not? My dad truly wanted Earth to be friends with Planet FM. If I were to finish you off here, I'd be betraying my dad and what he stands for. So I think I'll forgive you instead. <clears throat> You're forgiving me. The one who tried to destroy your planet. But in return, I have a request. A request? Actually, two. First, I want you to trust me. My dad always said that the reason people get into fights is because they don't know each other. If they knew each other better, then they could trust each other. I didn't know how you felt, but through this fight I've learned a lot. I realized that nothing good can come out of loneliness, that only through relationships with others can anything good be born. Nothing good can come out of loneliness. Yes, I suppose that is true. And what is your other request? I hope you'll be my friend. You and me. <laughs> you would be the first friend I've ever had. I think you need friends you can believe in. I have a lot of friends, and they're the ones who helped me to... Uh, that helped me to get where I am today. I'll be your very first friend. If you have people you can trust, then your cold, lonely world suddenly grows warmer. My world will change. Earthling, I can trust your words, correct? <clears throat> what are you doubting him for? He's got enough power to destroy Andromeda. He doesn't have any reason to trick you. Mega Man. No, I mean Earthling. Would you tell me your name? My name is Geostellar. Just Geo is fine though, your majesty. My name is Cepheus, and you can call me that. Geo. Yeah, I accidentally hit A. Cepheus, we're friends from now on, you and me. So here's to us. Yes. Omega Exus, are you alright with this? Huh? Are you sure you don't want your revenge? I was deceived by Gemini and destroyed Planet AM with Andromeda. Don't be an idiot. You're Geo's friend, aren't you? If I hurt you, I'd be a real bad guy. Geo, Omega Exus. Thank you. I will return to Planet FM, and I promise to tell all of its citizens to treasure the strength of a trusting heart, and to make amends for our sin of destroying Planet AM by rebuilding it. Cepheus! We will land a hand in reviving Planet AM. It's the satellite admins! The three sages of Planet AM. Mega Man, you have fought well. Omega Exus, as we had guessed, you are indeed one of us. You the FM King, who has opened your heart, if you continue to have a trusting heart as Mega Man does, the power to revive Planet AM will appear. Not all of the AMians are gone. A few are living on other planets as we have. If we were to call back, call everyone back together, Planet AM could be brimming with life again. Pegasus, Dragon, and Leo, I vow to never lose my trusting heart. Very well. <clears throat> Geo, Omega Exus, farewell. Until we meet again. Omega Exus, is this alright? Yeah, I'll take a pass. 
If I don't stick around, Jill will never get home. Plus, I finally got used to Earth. So I'm gonna stick around for a bit. <laughs> we expected that much of you. Take care of yourself, Cepheus. You too, Geo. It is time. Did I do what's right? You just saved Earth. I don't think anyone's got anything to complain about. Come on, let's get ourselves home to Earth. Okay. But for the most part, this is the final episode. We need to get out of here. So, uh, go this way. On the monitor in red letters is a message. Okay, what am I doing? I need to pulse in to where, um. There we go. I was about to say, it's like, uh, I forgot where I need to go. <clears throat> Hurry, Geo! The station's beginning to fall apart! I know! EM wave change! Geo Stellar! Ah! <clears throat> no! The wave hole is... I can't go back to Earth now! What now? <laughs> now this is a jam! What is it? I thought I heard my dad's voice just now. He said to go over here. See, I knew I was going to the right place. I was just going there early. This switch. I think I can disconnect this module. Maybe we can get back to Earth, Mega. Um, but you know how to fly this thing. My dad showed me the space station's control panel once a long time ago. So I think I can. Closing hatch. <clears throat> now look yeah, now launching the emergency escape module. Picking up a signal. Is uh, uh, uh. This is Boreal. Please respond. Mr. Boreal! The wave hole's gone, but we can still trick eh, still get transmissions, it seems. This is Geo. The Earth is okay. We're returning to Earth in the emergency escape module. Over. This is Aaron. Thank you. You did great. <gasps> Hold on, you. Oh, hold on, you. Geo! Thank goodness you're okay. Hurry home. <sighs> Bump. Test, test, this is Luna. Great job, Geo. Now hurry straight back. Hey, Geo. You really are my hero. After you get back, we're gonna go for burgers. <laughs> Geo, thank you. Hold on, you guys. Give me some space. Geo, are you okay with the controls? Yeah, I sort of know how to fly this. Right now it's on autopilot. <clears throat> so we're moving at a good pace towards Earth. I see. Oh, that's a relief. Ah! System error. System error. Deviating from set course. Deviating from set course. Geo! 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 You're finally awake. <clears throat> what happened? A system error occurred and the module's been thrown off course. You were knocked unconscious by the shockwave. We're in a bit of a serious problem now. Problem? Yeah, the autopilot system's busted, and we've deviated from a course for Earth. Right now, we're just floating through space. 
I don't think we can get back to Earth. What? I don't think we have zero chance, but I'm not sure which way Earth is from here. No. Meanwhile on Earth... Yes, we got to Vista Point. The module Geo is riding in has di uh, drastically deviated from its course. We have no way to find it from here. But because you are brothers, if you send out a signal, Geo might receive it out in space. But I didn't become a brother with him yet. Do you think I can still reach him? A brother band is something that connects two people's hearts no matter where they are. If your wish to find him is strong enough, I'm sure it'll reach Geo. All right now. Everyone, lift your transer to the sky! Assholes are real. Please, I hope this finds Geo. And I told him to come straight home. Hurry and come back to us. Geo, come back! Please, Geo, come back safe and sound. We're waiting for you, Geo. Meanwhile in the space station, Geo has gone crazy and has slit his wrist, and now he is dead. What? That was too dark? Well, I'm sorry. Dad, I don't think I'll ever see the Earth again. Don't give up yet, Geo. You still have strong bonds to the Earth. Bonds that no matter how far apart you are, can't be cut. Geo, believe in your brothers. <gasps> and never give up. I'll always be watching over you. <clears throat> Dad! Wait, Dad! Dad. It was a dream. Yo, morning. I saw my dad in my dream. He told me to not give up. That I have strong bonds to the earth. And to believe in my brothers. Sounds like Kelvin. You never know. Maybe you really did come by. What's my transer doing? This light. Oh! Is that what I think it is? It's the brother band. They were looking for me! Looks like they were really trying, too. Dad, now I see why you valued the uh, beyonds... Beyonds between... Bonds between people so much. No matter how far apart we are. No one can erase the bond of the power of this bond. <laughs> Dad, I think I can be strong and move on. Because I'm not alone now. And I have you, wherever you are. Let's go home to everyone. <clears throat> wow, I like how totally even that is. <laughs> I guess it's supposed. Well, I guess I understand. It's probably supposed to, like, have the little median in between to kind of look like maybe it's right, but. Yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. But yeah. Well, this isn't the end of the game, obviously. We're. We still have dialogue coming up after the credits, so. <gasps> oh, God. I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of the credits, and we'll pick up afterwards.
Okay. Let's see, what all do we have after? I know we've got dialogue. There we go. I was about to say, I know we have dialogue. Three weeks have passed. Thanks to everyone, I was able to make it back to Earth safe and sound. But the wounds I got during that rough fight made me miss school for a while. But I got the okay from my doctor, so today, I get to go back to school. I'm kind of anxious and excited to see everyone again after so long. <clears throat> Geo, hurry up and come downstairs. Everyone's here waiting for you. Okay. Welcome back, Geo. We figured it would be kind of sad if you had to go to school by yourself after so long, so we decided to drop by. So you'd better show us some appreciation. By the way... <clears throat> what are you doing here? You don't go to Echo Elementary. Aren't you supposed to go to your school? Well, today is Geo's first day back, so it's a special day. No harm done, right? I'll go to my school right after this. Besides, I can get there in no time if I take the wave road. Special day, huh? Hee <laughs> hee. I guess so. Yeah. You did real good with that tiny body of yours, Geo. You really are amazing. Um, I heard that if you go into space, you can get taller. But you don't look like you grew any. Welcome back. I'm relieved to see you're okay. Thank you, everyone. If you guys weren't there for me, I, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> what are you crying about? You're the hero that saved Earth. Pull yourself together. That's right. You should feel proud. Okay. <clears throat> now that's what we like to see. A real manly expression. Ugh! That's the bell! If we don't hurry, we'll be late! As the class president, I can't be late. Come on, everyone! Let's move! Mr. Boreal, Mr. Copper, thank you very much. Geo, we're going to be late. You don't even go to our school. Geo, hurry up. Okay, I'm coming. Well, bye, Mom. See you later. Geo has really grown and changed. He's like a different person. There's still all sorts of things I'd like to ask, but I guess this isn't the time for it. Calvin, are you seeing this? He has so many friends now, and he smiles just like you. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, what are you going to do now? What do you mean? We are aliens who live inside the hearts of lonely humans. But Gio and Sonya aren't lonely anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I want to do. I've got the feeling that there will be more excitement down the line if I stick with him. Plus, I want to learn more about Earth. What a coincidence. I was thinking the exact same thing. Shall we get going? We're going to be left behind if we don't. Yeah, let's go! T-H-E-E-N-D THE END! Save clear data? Yes. Ooh, we're done! Well... I might actually tack this on to the fin to the last episode. Cause that was pretty short. I don't know. 
either this will be on the last ep the other episode. Well, if it's on the other episode, it'll be a longer episode, obviously, but... Anyways, we're going to end this episode off. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. We will be starting Star Force 2 soon as well, and, um, of course, before that, we're going to have a bonus episode where I'm going to, um, go in the, go in the, go and do the little Battle Network crossover side quest thing. So, anyways, as usual, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time with whatever I'm doing or until Star Force 2. So, see you guys. Bum, 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 bum. End it off awkwardly.